there's this thought now yeah. that chemistry doesn't matter. And that's chemi- because people chemistry, don't understand it. Right. It's culture of course. that matters, right? And you've been, you <laughs> cultivate culture. I've had that argument with Billy Vivesi since the early 80s um, about, you know, they, well, chemistry will follow winning, but what if you're not winning? How do you create winning? And you, I think you create it by creating culture or chemistry first. I think, you know, as a, as a, as a species, we mock what we don't understand. In other words, if you've never been in a position or understood how to do that in the first place, create chemistry or culture, then you're gonna mock it. Then you think the easy way is to acquire all these great players or expensive players, put them together in one room and they're gonna win. That's, that's, that's a bad method, that's, that's an inappropriate thought. So if you've never done it before and you don't know what you're doing in regards to doing it, then you're gonna mock it and say it doesn't exist. I cannot disagree more with that. And how do you, how do, you do that? How do you build a culture? Um, it has nothing to do with uh, 50 extra swings, 100 <laughs> extra ground balls, or 1,000 a, a, a extra PFPs. Build a relationship with the fellow. First of all, if you're a major league player, if this major league player is legitimately supposed to be there, he's good. He's good. He's a good player. He's a good athlete. So what do you do to make this group better as a whole that makes you better than these other teams that come in on a consistent basis? I think it's about building relationships first. And once that happens, then me and you trust each other. Once we trust each other, now we could exchange thoughts and ideas. Until we trust one another, you're going to push back at my thoughts, and I'm going to push back at yours. But once you've achieved that, now here's the real rub, and this is what makes it all work. Then you could be constructively critical of each other, and then something good occurs after that. But if you don't accomplish those first three steps, that doesn't happen, and then you don't have culture. You don't have chemistry. You don't have any of that because you're always pushing back at one another. So for years, for me, whether it's in a, uh, an industry or a, a factory or a, whatever, a law firm or a baseball clubhouse, if you fail to address those things first, if you get chemistry and if you get um, culture, you're kind of lucky. But believe me, man, it's, it's there to be done. It can be done, but you have to pay attention to those things first. That was my first thought when I went to Chicago, build relationships. And then I have, we have to trust each other, and then they'll start listening to you, otherwise they won't. <laughs>